Hi, good morning, John. It's Hank. It's, uh, it's Friday. It's Friday, October, uh, hmm. Gotta get out my pocket computer. The 16th. So we got to hang out, uh, you and me, at Minneapolis at NerdCon. There's a very brief interaction between us at the end of the most recent episode of Dear Hank and John. If you didn't know, we have an episode, we have a podcast. It's called Dear Hank and John. We answer your questions and give you doobies advice and bring you all the week's news from both Mars and AFC Wimbledon. I feel like I'm too tall. I feel like I set the camera up too low. There we go. Hey, now I'm all the way down here. All right. My chair is real low, though. I feel silly now. I got my, my knees all right on up on my chest. So NerdCon went really great. I've been literally sitting here editing NerdCon stuff. But we're throwing some of it up on the YouTube channel so that people who weren't there can see it and people who were there can experience it again, which I'm going to do as I edit it. It's really enjoyable. I mean, I do like to edit video, it turns out. It's a nice thing after eight years of doing something to realize I quite like this. Like, I knew that I liked making videos, like uh, like like writing them and getting them up on the internet and like looking at people, looking at my thing. But I actually realized that I like the editing part, the sitting, and the clicking by myself. I like the other parts, the loud parts with the interaction and the people and everybody watching. But I also like it quiet, like quiet times. Just me and my computer, whose name is Greg. Greg the computer. Hi, Greg. How you doing? Oh, I know. Always the same. Just make that small noise of you cooling yourself off. Greg's a hot. He's hot. I came away from NerdCon thinking a lot of different things with a lot of different, like, I, these are video ideas. And as you can tell right now by the fact that we're quite a ways in, we haven't really talked about anything. I don't know which one to pick. So instead I'm just doing one of those videos where I scream at you and nothing happens. Ah! Okay, a thing. Talking to Paolo Bacigalupi, one of my favorite authors. What do you, what do I got up here that's his? Here's one, this one. Uh, Shipbreaker, I think it won a thing, uh, won staff pick. I don't think it may have won a, 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 won a prince or been a prince honoree, I'm not sure. Does it really matter if it was a staff pick, though, at Shakespeare and Company in Missoula, Montana, which you should go to if you ever have a chance? Because local bookstores. Part of the fabric that holds a community together. Think about that next time you're on Amazon or I'm on Amazon buying cat litter. What was the most recent thing I bought on Amazon? I'm curious to find out. The most recent thing I... <laughs> I got a secret for you. It doesn't smell great because it was in the dirty laundry, but here it is. It's my No It's Becky shirt at one of my very favorite internet things that's happened on the internet. No It's Becky. Right up there with Anus Georg. Oh, I love Anus Georg so much. As better, back to my normal sort of low level of stink. Anyway, I was talking to Paolo Bacigalupi and we had this great conversation about how the fo the formats that are available to us tend to, to actually influence the stories that get told. Like for ages, the only video formats we had were the 30 minute episode, the 60 minute episode, and the movie length thing. But because YouTube happened, suddenly there was this new format that was available to people. And this format wasn't influenced by when advertising was gonna show up. Or despite the weirdness of dividing a day into 24 pieces and saying like, each one of these, that's gonna be the length of a TV episode. And it was influenced just by what's the best possible format for telling a quick story or make it a quick thing. And so suddenly in 2007, you have the vlog where there's being like, we can never make a video more than four minutes long. We're gonna impose that artificial restriction on ourselves just like we did when we decided as a culture that days we're gonna have 24 hunks. It's all arbitrary and it's weird and it's great that we have stuck with that and like, this is the format, and now that I have to say, despite the fact that I only just got to the point, I have to end this video because, as I said, we imposed an arbitrary distinction upon ourselves, and we must enforce it. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.